right, John, here we go, man. After doing the pre-flight taxi and takeoff and landing series, I think you got pretty much what it takes to do what we need to do here for the aerobatics uh, section. Left, now, tons of left stick. All right, we're gonna go fly, uh, fly the roll now and see how you do. Let's go flying, here we go. All right, let's do it. We're gonna go for our first uh, maneuver. It's gonna be a roll. All right. Uh, come a little bit to the right. Let's point towards the the west end tip of Catalina out there. Let's switch your gun camera. All right. Cool. Nose is coming over from 4,600 feet in 95 knots. The nose is coming down to accelerate. Gently push. Okay. So now we're gonna accelerate to about 150 knots like we talked about in the brief. Yep. So there's okay, one. There we go. 20. I like that. Nose down, a little more speed, 130. Right. A little more throttle. More. There's 140. Okay. We're going to remember to tighten up our stomach muscles and a yeah. nice smooth pull. We're going to bring the nose up way above the horizon in three, two, one. From 150 and 4,000 feet, pull it up, 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 oh. nice and high. <laughs> there you go. Nice and high, relax the back pressure and hard left. Now, tons of left stick, a little bit of left pedal to control it. <laughs> Faster left roll. There you go. A little more, a oh. little more left. A little oh back pressure through the end. Okay. Tighten right. up your stomach. Check oh, your heading. A little go. back pressure through the end. Looks good. Back towards the point of uh, Catalina to the west. That looked fantastic. Wow. How'd that feel? That was incredible. Awesome. Okay. So you kind of see what happened there. What we had was the dive down to build up the speed to about 150 knots. We brought the nose up nice and high. We came up. We relaxed the back pressure. We went hard over with the stick to the left with the touch of left pedal. Now we rolled a little slow on this one, on this first one, Johnny. We rolled it and we ended up, the plane started to settle down and we ended up with the nose down slightly and we finished out a little bit nose low. Not bad, not a big deal. Bring that nose up, back up to the horizon, we finished. So it's, it's a beautiful maneuver. It could have been rolled just a little bit quicker through the beginning to finish it. Now, a, a lot of people in their first time flying, uh, these type of maneuvers are a little bit more gentle with it than um, than they need to be. As a matter of fact, you'll find that it actually is better and quicker and, and more comfortable to roll faster through the first portion and finish early so that you finish above the horizon. It's a little bit less, a uh, little bit less nerve-wracking on, on your first mission. So you think that gentler is going to make it easier on you and it actually causes you to have a little bit more nose down and a subsequent pull up at the end. Okay, it's common, it's not a big deal. Um, it's just a, a finer point. You wanna to try to finish the roll above the horizon. All right, here we go. Let's do one together. Wanna to do one together? We'll show you how I do one. Sure. Okay. This will be my style and uh, stay with me on the controls. We'll gently push it over. That first one was cool. I wanted you to see you do one. It came out really nice. I'm not Thank gonna criticize or critiquing. I just wanna show you, um, if you practice it a lot, this is what it'll feel like. Yeah. It should feel very little on anything. I should hardly feel any Gs. Here comes 4,000 and 155, 160 knots from 4,000 feet. Tighten your stomach. There All it right. is. Oh, there About we go. one and a half Gs. We're going to go straight ahead. Look straight ahead. Three, two, one. I come off the pull. Hard left stick and roll. Wow. And the whole thing. You feel any zero G there? Nope. Yeah, I didn't feel any Gs. It's hardly any. Yeah. One G all the way around, and we finish level. That's, yeah. That's how I do it. So let's see if we can get you to do one similar to that. Nice, okay. easy left hand turn. Bank left and gently pull. So you can see what happens if you just commit a little bit more stick to this thing. We dive down, get your speed, bring that nose up. Now, if you're going to roll a little slower, just, just bring the nose up a little higher to compensate for the slower roll rate. Down, a little more push, good. Four, a little right. more throttle, here we go. From 150 knots and 4,500 feet this time, tighten your stomach up, nice smooth pull, gently pull, bring that nose up nice and high above the horizon, about 30 degrees nose up, so right about there. Relax the pull, hard left, go. Tons of left stick, straight left, straight left. Don't push, just straight left. Okay. If you get a little push, you'll get some zero or negative G. And then as you finish, level the, uh, the wings and gently back on the stick as you come back to yeah. level. And wings nice and level and back to straight again. Just have to kind of level it a little more. Tricky, right? So you see that that one lost a little less altitude, a little less nose down, okay? So this one we dove down again a little bit, a little bit slow on the roll rate. So if you're gonna roll slow, in other words, not use full deflection, you gotta get the nose higher. So I'm bringing you up to like 20, 25 degrees nose up. Maybe if you're gonna roll a little bit slower, we can even go a little higher. like. 30 to 45 degrees nose up. If you're gonna roll slow, 
then you can then you can compensate for that slower roll rate by having the nose starting starting higher. Okay, so the, definitely the nose dropped a little bit less. We came in a little a little bit closer to the horizon. The nose was slightly below the horizon, and then we brought the nose back up to the horizon at the end. And the final little little critique that we have is that the wings weren't quite quite level when we finished. You see, when you're rolling left, sticks all the way over to the left. We hold that left stick in until we reach level and we can, we can time it to slow the roll rate down and stop the wings right at the level position as you reach it so you don't end up, if you hold it too long to the left, it'll end up past and then you'll have to correct back. So minor, minor, minor adjustment. We can get it just a little bit more honed, but for your first day out there rolling, I think it worked out really well. Nice job.